Today's video is brought to you by AppMatch. I've talked about AppMatch on my videos before, and they're a service that asks you questions and recommends the perfect apps based on whatever answers you give them. So they've got a new Tech Life quiz that I wanted to tell you about because I think you actually find it useful and like it. It's geared toward the tech crowd and basically meant to help you find tech related apps that you haven't tried before, but hopefully will find useful. The link is below in the description. And if you'd like to try it, it's free. Tell me what you think about app match in the comments. And if you think it's a useful service. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo tech. And today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 beta two to developers and hopefully soon to public beta testers. I would imagine it will be out either later today or probably tomorrow. At this point, it came in at 101.9 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15 D five zero four six B and this particular build in their notes anyway, for the developer beta is really nothing new. There's nothing that I could find that stands out as a new feature or anything like that. However, some people pointed out that 3d touch, as far as the app switcher is concerned now works again for some people it wasn't working and in this beta it's working again so they've brought this back some people were afraid they were removing it again and it seems that it's still working fine at least on an 8 plus it's working okay now the beta seems to be a little bit more smooth than it was before uh, everything seems to be quick there's no lag there although someone did report that they were having the landscape issue again where when you turn the phone off, turn it back on, sometimes it will auto rotate from landscape back to portrait by itself on the plus devices. Only the plus devices have the, the landscape mode. So for some people that's still an issue for me, it's not, but some people were saying it was also weather was still an issue for some, but for me, it's nice and well, it's working. Okay. It's updating some places here. They're working fine. And everything else seems to be nice and smooth. Now, why they sent this update out today, I'm not really sure. Maybe that's to get ahead of the holiday, Christmas next Monday. Maybe we won't see anything the following week. So they just wanted to push one out at this point. If there was a security issue, they haven't talked about it at all. And no one has really found anything particular, particularly new in this update. So I did do a geek bench like I always do. And in this geek bench, we have 4220 for single core and 10,397 for multi-core. Now, let me see if I can find one. We'll go back to geek bench and see if we can get some results that were from this device. So on this particular device, let's go to history CPU and this particular one, 4220 by 1000 or 10,397. And we're a little bit higher here. So we did get a little bit better score by 20 or so. So I don't think you're going to see much of a difference there or anything like that. But basically, it's just another update, I would always update to these latest ones and see how it goes. If you're a beta tester, you probably have already updated or Maybe you're waiting for my follow up video, which I'll do if there's uh, any concerns and I'll reach out to you on Twitter again, like I normally do, uh, just to see how it's going for use on all the older devices. So if you have an iPhone six, six S seven, one of those, this is a six, uh, I'll reach out to you and see how it's going for you. I, po I can't possibly use all of them at once. So I'd like to see how it goes for you as well. But check out the link to app match in the description below. And if you'd like this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the, in the description as well. And also if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.